Who's looking like Gollum now? My precious. Good morning everyone and welcome to another vlog. Today I've got something kind of special for you guys. I've been very fortunate enough to have been sent a whole load of awesome RNG crash protection bits and bobs for the RC8. Thank you so much to RNG for hooking me up with these awesome bits and pieces. Everything is already laid out and ready to rumble. So we have the RNG molded lever guards. We have two of those, one for the left and one for the right over here. And then here we have the left hand side engine case crash protection. And then here we have the arrows. Now these are a meaty a meaty unit, that is seriously heavy. Make sure you pick up all that flavour all around your meat. Massive thank you to RNG for sending me these products. Do go check them out, link is all in the description. So all of these kits you'll purchase from RNG, they do come with instructions inside, they come with everything you need as well. Um, all the bolts, all the hardwares, everything in there. And they're really detailed instructions, so I really appreciate like the lengths that RNG have gone to to actually make sure that you actually know what the hell you're doing. Because people like me, I'll just kind of throw them on. And then Gabby will have to go and take them off afterwards <laughs> and redo everything. It has foam. I've lo been looking for foam. I've wanted foam because I've, I want to put it, I want to put the foam on my microphone on the camera. Show the foam. Lots of foam here, you <laughs> see? Because no one sells foam. You can't just go into the shop and say, hey, I want some foam. It doesn't happen like that. So we actually already have some RNG bar ends on here, which I'm going to have to unfortunately take off. So if anyone wants some RNG, really nice bar ends, just hit me up. Allen key of some description. No, it's not an Allen key. KTM, I don't know why you have Torx screws, bolts, whatever, Torx screws on everything. Because it just makes everyone's lives a little bit more complicated because they need a Torx set. Which I have, but you know. <laughs> That's a f***ing strong noise for a Tommy. Yeah, really Sounds nice. like a roaring of a lion. So I actually managed to find a Torx bit that actually fit these. But yeah, if you were working on KTM, most likely you're going to need to have a Torx bit of some description. Well, that's f***ing long. Let all that flavour really penetrate through, or indeed leave it for a couple of hours and then just slap it onto your Barbie. So basically you have to put the smaller one, the smaller cone, at the end. So basically, if you fit it inside, it will be the one towards the inside of your handlebar. The, the biggest one will be towards the outside of the, of the handlebar. In the middle, you'll fit the... This thing? How do you call it? The expander. The expander. And basically, when you're going to put it in like this, you're going to screw this and the end one will expand the expander. Push into inside. the expander, yeah. Exactly. Okay, turn it up, see if that works. That's not going anywhere, mate. Look at that. Happy? Do you want a sticker? No, thank you. So how would you rate them for installing? Yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Knock off my sunglasses. Yeah, it was on purpose, baby. I bet it was. Well, you guys don't realize my wife is actually a giant troll. I am. He's looking like Gollum now. My precious. I'm not a mechanic. Although we did manage to fix your bike. Yes. Which was actually kind of an achievement. And it hasn't broken down yet. True. How much of an achievement? That's crazy, right? It's very, very messy. I love this shit. <laughs> so we need small spacer, small threaded thingy. And the other thing. Spacer on as such, put the expander thing on there, put the threaded one, threaded one, and then tighten it to the extent where the plastic sides kind of come out a bit, and then we can actually fit it on my bike because the bars are actually quite large. The bars are actually quite large, so let's get an Allen key. I'm tightening it to the extent where these spacers kind of push into the extender so the fins come out and it kind of locks itself in place. There we go. I think they look pretty cool. Are they at the same level? Uh, no. That one is higher. That one is lower. I think that one should come up a bit. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Sorry out. for the beam. It's actually not pretty there. It was my fault. They don't care about things that are not pretty. They're just here for man stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's just saying. Literally, like, there were so many things kind of, like, out of place when I bought this bike. Like, it didn't have the nipple rubber thing, the nipple thing. So I bought some, but obviously not, they're not the right size. So. 
What you gonna do? Okay, right. Next up. You giving up? Oh, Leah's there with you as well. A bit like a pineapple. So to get to the two bolts that I need to get to under here, I'm actually going to need to remove the fairing as well, so that is now going to be coming off. So now that's off, you can kind of see the inner bits and pieces of the RC8. I mean, it's fairly clean, it's not unclean, it's kind of meh. Okay, so full disclosure, you may notice I have slightly different hair. My clothes are a little different. Well, that's because I did a bit of a newbie mistake. Basically, I didn't realise that my current torque wrench that I need to put the bolts on for the left-hand side engine case protector, I didn't realise that I need a torque wrench that worked for 10 newton metres uh, and up. Whereas my current torque wrench that I had was rated for 30 newton metres to 210 newton metres. So this was two big essentially and I needed to buy a mini one so this is a new one this is from Tac Life I got this from Amazon for like 27 euros or something cheap as tits like that I mean it's not anything out of this world it's just a fairly simple micro torque wrench yeah one quarter inch drive right now we're going to take the fairings off again hopefully we will be able to get the left hand side engine case crash protection from RNG on this time wish me luck Okay, so finally I can get this piece on. This should be fairly simple to install. It's literally just remove the two bolts from the engine casing and then put these two back in here, tighten them up a little bit and then torque them to 10 Newton meters, which is the factory spec for the bolts on the engine casing. So RNG provided the screws and instructions for this. So they say that both the screws have to have the washers on. They then go deep into the case line like that. Get my torque wrench which I've set to 10 newton meters. So this one goes in increments of like weird numbers. So this one goes to like 10.7. So you loosen, loosen the end, bring it up to 10.7, which should bring us about there on zero. And then we'll loosen it seven points. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that should be 10 newton meters. Tighten that up again. And that's 10 new minutes. So there you have it boys and girls. The left hand side RNG casing is now on the bike. We did it. I did it without your help. Yeah, Shocking and very surprising actually. I think you're more capable than myself. <laughs> so one of the awesome things about the uh, RNG crash protection is that they're made from a material compound that actually has a really high friction rating. So if you do eventually, touch word, go for a slide, fly, the friction rating is so high that it actually works to slow the bike as they're contacting with the tarmac or the ground. So it's really, really cool. So right now we're going to get the fairings back on and then we're going to stop farting around and take the baby out for a quick ride. Let's do it.